I think so. It gets a little later. So what I was going to do, I was going to do a simulcast, and I was going to do my uh, Tokyo Calling podcast, just because it's about time to do one. And I was going to have the video playing and do something like this, not with Hu Jin Tao as the picture there, but I think I was going to make the video. Let me do it now. This will be a, 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> It'll be a trial run. But I'm just, i got too much crap going on here is the problem. Okay, this is the one. Okay, so I just swap it. Um, see, I've got the, uh, the, the, the slideshow of pictures right now, Hu Chin Dao from the, the China. And notice behind his shoulder, it's like an oil rig, but it looks like the old uh, hammer from the hammer and sickle. Now, I know that wasn't Russia's or uh, China's emblem, but you know, you, know, you know what I mean. But that's the main screen source for people who are keeping track of the cam twist. Then I've got all these PIPs, pictures in pictures. For example, I'm, I'm a picture in a picture up here in the corner. And then this clock down at the bottom, that's a picture in a picture. That's time in Japan, 1043. And then the Homeland Security is just an animated GIF file that's playing as a movie, has another picture in a picture. Any of these I can swap. So I'm about to swap the one of my walk yesterday to the main screen. Okay. Oh, but I've got the blur effect on. And I don't think I want the blur here, so I'll turn the blur off. Okay, so I was with my daughter, and we had gone to Akihabara because I needed to get a piece of equipment. So I was thinking for the podcast, I would just kind of talk and do like I'm doing now, but also talk about the walk. Like, for example, if you look over here, you'll see a gasoline stand. Uh, earlier, I don't know if you noticed it, but there was a little shrine. And... The shrine is very small, and it's between a couple... Oh, there's the train. Look, look, everybody, the train. Isn't that great? You just get these sort of coincidental things as you're walking through. And I was thinking as I was shooting the video, wow, it would be so cool if it was rainy and nighttime. It would be just like the, uh, the Blade Runner. So uh, it was still 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday, quite, quite quiet, not too crowded yet. Um, although later in the day it would have been crowded. And also, yesterday was like the official cherry blossom viewing day. So there's another clip of footage that, was gonna, that will come up later, which uh, shows just the walk near in our neighborhood with all of the cherry blossoms. But I think I just get a sense that people are always interested just to see Tokyo. So to me, this seems kind of obvious and almost mundane for me to be talking about the walk that I did. But... I don't know. I've got five people watching right now, and nobody's thrown an apple at the screen yet. But I guess I wouldn't know, would I? So, and you know me, I'm just always thinking about the, uh, the meta structure of this stuff. And I realize that I have to watch what I'm doing, and I also kind of keep an eye on myself, just because of the, the vanity thing. So, uh, when I'm looking down at the bottom of the screen, my eyes bulge out. So I've just moved the preview window up to the right. And there's also the, uh, the, uh, the Justin TV I'm trying to watch as well. So that's why I wore the sunglasses the other day. Right now I'm doing what we call a 360 degree panorama shot for those of you who are film students. Uh, the way I did it was I just stood up with the camera in my hand. And I said, you want to see my kit? You want to see my kit, everybody? Let me show you my kit. Well, it's not that interesting. Absolutely nothing better than this. So I got to set it up. So yeah, then we stopped at the intersection here after I did that 360 shot, and you can see the buildings. And uh, I don't know if you can see it too well. I got this clock is in the way, but I think we can DOS the clock for now. Everybody knows what time it is. How do I DOS the clock? Is that it? No. I should have labeled it. That's something else you can do. You can. Oh, it's, that's it. I'm gonna call this one the clock. Not clock, clock. Okay, when I press this button, it'll disappear. And this big, this building that says Big Apple is a, a big pachinko and amusement center. And you see over there to the right, with that brick building with the blue signs, those are all people standing in line. It's all dudes. And they're going to go in there. It's just 10 o'clock in the morning. They're waiting for it to open. And it just happens to open as uh, my daughter and I walk by and they start letting people in. And this is just a pretty sad situation. I mean, they're going to go in there all day and probably spend four or $500 playing pachinko. 
Some might win, but most of them won't, I imagine. So there they go, and I got a little self-conscious about pointing my camera at them, so I tried to do it over my shoulder, then I decided to shoot up to the top of the building. Okay, I haven't forgotten my kit, I just gotta get it together. Gotta screw this thing in. So I've got a little, uh, I don't have a, an iPhone, so there's no way I can do live video. So this is something to think about, I guess. I don't know. The live is great. The live is live. Oh, check out the dude across the street coming towards us. He's got a black sweatsuit with pink stripes on the side. It'll just be on very briefly. He's standing in front of that vending machine over there. He had been there like for the whole time that I was at the other intersection, and now the place opens. He goes in. He's headed over to the pachinko. Okay, this is what a lot of people like: is these little. They call this. Excuse me. They call this gacha pon. Gotcha pon. That's the sound it makes when you put the money in and the thing comes out. And this is all little uh, characters from the uh, different animated books. So here, all I care about is my trick. So this is the kit. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little Sanyo Exacti HD camera. And I actually have a wide angle lens that I put on my shoe. I've got this kind of a. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. No, I'm not going to worry about it though. Got the screen all pinched in. So yeah, I carry it like this. And here I am. So when I do my 360, I just spin around like that. See? I saw you guys talking about the Steadicam. And uh, I don't. Yeah, Steadicam attachment. Is that Dr. Garcia? I've got one for you. Well, I don't have it, but like this is the ultimate Steadicam. And, you know, I'm doing a live show right now, so I don't know if I can get it simultaneously. Let's do this. You guys watch the little video, and I think I can find it in the Google, and uh, I'll show you this. You're going to love it. What, is, what the hell is that? I just got to do something to make this happen. So I'm going to do the Google search. I saw Timmy Boy and Dr. G exchanging tweets about the steady cam earlier, and it made me think of this one. And Just a second. I'm so nervous. Oh, this, but I want to talk about this. This is like this is like the Blade Runner sort of scene. All these little shops, and it, this is just the street level. You can go through any of these little passageways. It's like a labyrinth, like a bazaar of like the olden days. And all of these little shops have like everything you'd want for a specific usage. This dude's got wires, another guy's got connectors, tools. You can get any sort of audio cable you want built if you know how to explain what you want. And they'll do it for you. And it's fairly expensive. And then up here on the corner is the light shop. This is almost the end of this video clip. Um, they've got some of them turned off, but still they've got quite a few turned on. And uh, at nighttime, this is just beautiful. Imagine all the lights. Where is it? I'm looking for the steady cam standby. This is it. This is it. No? Yes? No? This going to be it? No, this guy's a tool. This guy's a total tool. This is it. Okay, stand by. I'm getting the YouTube up for this. And okay, now to do this, I'm going to have to do another picture in a picture with the desktop. And Timmy Boy, if you're still there, I don't know if you're still there or not. I don't know if you have the latest version of Cam Twist. Uh, the Cam Twist Volume 2 has both picture in picture and it's also got picture in picture plus. And that's what I've got right here or picture-in-picture -picture desktop plus, then you can isolate a particular window. So instead of doing full screen, you can't see what I'm doing, but instead of full screen, I'm going to do select a, an application. This is Google Chrome. So then it's just there. And then you can even um, 
adjust the size. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Set the capture area. So you can't see what I'm doing exactly. You just see the result. How do I resize this stuff? It's getting away from me. Resize of the selection. That's it. Sorry, guys. This is amateur hour. I don't know if anybody's still watching this or not. Isn't that great? You sort of get this profile of me with my mouth agape. Agape. So, did you see the train go by? Wasn't that cool? I missed it. Damn it. Where is it? That's the one. See, I just got too much stuff going on. That's PIP movie. I'm going to pause. No, that's not it either. That's called the Beagles? No, this See, I didn't name anything because I was just goofing off. Yeah, so this was going to be my podcast last night. And could you imagine? Oh, no, that's not it either. That's the security eye. Uh, now, I'm, now I'm losing it. I'm losing my, I'm losing my way. I wanted to pause the movie that's playing. Oh, here it is. It's the main one. Yeah, here we go. Pause. Look at that bridge. That bridge is really cool. But now I can take this one that's... We'll just watch it and you see. This is the, this is the steady cam. It's the steering wheel approach. Check this out. I think you'll like it. Some of the main features that are on this. Um, it comes with this stub handle here, which has a, a quarter fit just on there. And that fits through central plate here. What you may wish to do... I'm is, sorry, this uh, is the wrong one. Here's the right one. Okay, this is the good one. Dr. Garcia, this is what you, you and Timmy Boy need for steady cam. Take this thing. Once you take the tire off, you'll be able to remove all the spokes with just a screwdriver and then clip a couple of them shorter and hang, them up, hang on to them for later. Now here you take just a piece of wood, notch the edges. Just a piece of wood, notch, notch the, the edges, edges see? It. But keep the spokes like too. That. Drill holes through for the, for the spokes. Yeah, yeah. And bend them over and nail them down. Uh, make sure to stagger them so that you can use this, adjust the spokes on the bottom to change the angle. Right, like a different angle, forward. like that. And, and you can put the iPhone on there. That's what's cool. Then See? Another quarter inch bolt just to attach that thing on there, and you're good to go. This is not quite as steady. As the now, wouldn't it be great camp, walking around Pacific Grove with one of those, Dr. G? To Going to the coffee shop? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just a tool. I'm a tool with a tool. Making video. Putting it on the internet. DS106 TV. <laughs> Dr. G doesn't like it. <laughs> but look how steady it is. See? That's what's great. Look at the dude's room. <laughs> Can you believe it? And he's got a picture in a picture. Look at that. He must have cam twist. Yeah, and switch to manual mode. <laughs> the hell, manual mode. And watch out for the shadows and the stairs and the doorways. <laughs> it's going to be too big for the doorway. All right, and you see, the one Manfrotto here has got is a little bit smaller, so that could work for you. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, that's our thing.
Okay, so that that was all totally unintended. That little uh, foray into the um, steady cam world, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, you bet. You're welcome. This is all part of the service here on DS106 TV. So yeah, this bridge is just awesome. It's amazing. And see the train. Always the train going by. That's the Chuo thing. So my idea was just to do my standard old podcast and just use the audio that was captured on the video camera and uh, try to tell a story for 15 or 20 minutes. But I don't know how it would work just as audio. Probably not so good. Well, and then this one is from February. These sumo guys are making, uh, it's called mochi tsuki, where they take the sweet rice and they, they, they boil it and steam it and they put it in this wooden, let's get rid of the uh, eye in the sky. They um they put it in this big uh, thing, like a like a mortar and pest pestle sort of situation. Then the guys pound it. And this dude here with the uh, with the robe on, he's an Ozeki. Ozeki is the second highest rank. His name is Koto Oshu. He's from Bulgaria. He's the uh, the highest ranked non-Japanese wrestler. No, he's not. There's a Mongolian who's more highly ranked. But uh, that was that. These guys were making mochi in February. And we went to that. And here's uh, yesterday, where we walked up the boulevard near where I live for the cherry blossoms. This was again in the morning before um, on our way to Akihabara. I should have shot video when we returned, because th at the time after we returned, there were thousands of people sitting here. They set up little sheets of uh, plastic tarp and put it on the ground, and we'll have a picnic and drink beer and just visit. Uh, very important annual ritual throughout Japan, the cherry blossom viewing, called Hanami. The mayor of Tokyo, who was just, or the governor of Tokyo, I'm sorry, Tokyo is a prefecture, was just re-elected yesterday. This is the guy who, on the day after the earthquake, said that the earthquake was God's retribution on Japan for how greedy and selfish Japanese people are. And then after that, he called for everybody to cancel their Hanami plans. Hanami is the cherry blossom viewing. And uh, both of these probably pissed off a lot of people, but not enough for him not to get re-elected. It's his fourth term, just re-elected yesterday. And for those of you who remember Dr. Nakamatsu, um, oh, I've got a picture of Dr. Nakamatsu. Remember Dr. Nakamatsu? He's the inventor. You can find another one. And he, I was just talking to my daughter there, we didn't get it on camera, but she found a perfect little cherry blossom on the ground, and she put it in her bag. So that was kind of cute. Yeah, see, there's some people on the plastic mats here. I walk past this place three or four times during the day, and this is a group of university students off to the right. A couple of them wearing suits. They were there all day, and like by the afternoon time, they were loaded. Just totally loaded. But the... Um, I don't think I can get that picture easily, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, so, yeah, the guy won, but that's not even the point. The point is that people continue to do Hanami viewing. I think the reason he asked people not to do it was just because uh, it seems uh, untoward to be celebrating and having a good time when so many people are suffering at present since the earthquake and the catastrophes. And I, I, I buy that and I accept that. I don't really care one way or the other, to tell you the truth. Um, but other people say that you know this is such an important annual ritual, and it's a it's a life affirming event in a way. It's you know marking of the season. And it just so happens that yesterday it was very windy, and when it is windy, the petals from the blossoms come out of the tree, and it's the effect of. Uh, it's snow-like. The pink petals just fluttering to the ground and landing in your hair is a very serene and beautiful experience. So I was following Twitter and many people had gone out for their cherry blossom viewing. And everybody said that it was very helpful to do that. So that's that. This is just a little walk up the boulevard close to where I live, like I said. I made a point to try to shoot up rather than down. I just, I'm still not comfortable pointing a camera at people on the street. But I suppose if I had that steering wheel, then I'd have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Imagine 
that damn steady cam. But there is a point to that, Dr. Garcia. I, I noticed when Timmy Boy mentioned his steady cam that he linked to, I don't know that he has it, but the point of it is that that it it provides weight below your camera and it's that weight that makes the steady makes the steady so what I have here is not a steady cam at all it's just a holder it doesn't have that counterbalance but what some people do is they actually just put their camera on a tripod so the weight of the tripod is one thing I don't know if you can see it because a window just popped up Damn it. I'm on the wrong window now are we still here? Okay, we're still here Again, this window's too small, but then you're holding it here by a handle, and it's the weight of the tripod that provides that counterbalance, and people have said that just holding a tripod by that stick-out handle makes for a steady cam effect. It will stabilize your shot a little bit, and you don't look like such a tool as that dude with the steering wheel. So that's my understanding of it. I'm really not a video person, but, you know, that's it. Oh my goodness, I'm doing a hell of a job of procrastinating. I've really got to get my um my lesson plans ready for tomorrow and my syllabi written up for the semester, which starts tomorrow. But uh I don't know, this is more fun. Uh the real Hennessy Youngman, if you're not following the real Hennessy Youngman on Twitter, you should. You should check out his videos as well. He's uh he's from Philadelphia and he's an art critic of sorts. He makes wonderful YouTube videos, the real Hennessy Youngman. And I just noticed one of his uh, twit pics that he put up yesterday, and it was a uh, <laughs> it was a, um, a pie chart graph, and there was no title to it, but it was just completely self-explanatory. 70% of the pie chart was in green, and the label was procrastinating. And the other 25% was yellow, and that said distracting others. So I, I used that in the uh, in the chat here earlier. They're procrastinating or distracting others. Hey, do you see that lunch pail at the bottom? That, I think, would work for a pirate box. Don't you think? Okay, I'm going to hang on just for another 90 seconds or so here, because this is where we, uh, just about where we started this whole loop. And the, um, the, um, we'll see that shrine, and you can see my daughter um, ringing the bell and playing with the water. It's pretty, uh, excuse me, it's pretty desolate on a Sunday. Uh, this is uh, kind of a commercial district just on the fringes of Akihabara. You know, Akihabara is the electronic wonderland. And I remembered this side street, so I just turned and my daughter followed me. And you can see up on the left the orange, uh, it's called a torii, that thing that looks vaguely like a soccer goal post. And it always provides such a sharp, color contrast. It just that orange really stands out. So there goes the youngest daughter. And there's a hanging rope with a bell on it. You're supposed to pray, put your money in and ring the bell. So she neither prayed nor put her money in, but she did ring the bell. So yeah, I, you can imagine it. There's there's these two nondescript office buildings and then there's a little bit of space in between and then there's this old shrine that probably has been there in one form or another for uh, centuries you know of course they've rebuilt it and refurbished it but uh it's tied into some specific deity is housed in there in that little box and they take it out once or twice a year for festivals and the rest of the time there's just this quiet space you can go to uh reflect and pray and wash your hands
And I think there's just one more thing after this that you might want to see that I'm going to sign off. i got to really get busy. But those of you who have chosen to stop by and watch this for a few minutes, thank you. I appreciate it. So I think this could be one idea as a form of digital storytelling. You know, I'm just totally winging it here. You don't, you don't need the picture of the V1 rocket in the bottom left. But, uh, you know, shoot some video and attach a story to it. Whatever, a slideshow. Slideshow works. Or how-tos are always fun. We love, we love a good how-to, like the guy with the bicycle video. So up here on the left, when I get out to the intersection, I'm going to pan to the left and then do another one of those 360s. It's just an old restaurant, and the restaurant is probably more than 100 years old. The building's been refurbished, obviously. But uh, it's a famous restaurant that's been serving the same type of food in this neighborhood for generations. And I didn't really have good enough light or focus on it enough. But that's that. I'm back here, heading towards the uh, Akihabara. You can see that white signage up in front. That's a construction site. They tore down the railway museum. It was a huge building that had train engines and train cars, and they relocated in Saitama. But they're going to be building something, probably a, a high-rise tower soon. So for some reason, I focused on the, uh, the drilling equipment. All right. All right. I'm going to sign off. I'll, I'll leave it running for just a minute and uh, put the music back on. And i got to go just check the other room for a minute. I'll leave this going. If I'll, I'll watch the Twitter and turn it off if, if anybody else wants to do the video. And uh, as for the music that's going to come up right now, I've just got a... Oh, it looks like we're frozen. I've got a SoundCloud page that I found. Uh, this is the Dust Motes. And actually, I like their music quite a bit. So, and gentlemen, check out the dust motes. Sorry about that loud noise. And uh, I'll be back in a couple of minutes just to say goodbye to everybody. If there are any questions in the chat, I'll try to answer them. And uh, take it from dust there. Motes. Public spaces now. The containment session. session. Well, what the hell, you know? I might as well go ahead and do the best I can. Best I can.